Hi, I'm Balan Madhavan. Today, we are going to discuss about my experiences in Antarctica. As somebody who hails from the tropics, for me, the color green is the color of nature. For any Indian, a jungle is basically nothing but a huge mass of the color green. But what was in store for me in Antarctica was a shock. When we reached Antarctica, suddenly I realized that, okay, here I am in a continent which is devoid of the color green. There is nothing green in Antarctica. The predominant color is white. It's white everywhere. Monstrous glaciers and walls of ice, everything is white. And I was in a shock for a very long time. But after that, it became a pleasant surprise for me because everywhere I was seeing and creating new frames. So we were traveling to different islands. We were shooting massive colonies of penguins. We were shooting whales, we were shooting leopard seals, and also we were shooting a lot of what you call floating ice. These icebergs were such an interesting thing for photographers that they come in all forms and shapes. So we made lots of pictures. But the icing on the cake happened on the 14th of January when we were traveling through a channel with the entire sky covered with a dark cloud. But at about 11.30 in the evening, suddenly the clouds in the horizon parted and the setting sun came straight towards us and lit the entire landscape with a golden glow. There was massive ice, ice walls in the background. There was huge, what do you call, masses of ice floating around. And these icebergs suddenly turned to the color of gold on one side where the sunlight hit them and blue on the other side. It was really magical. The whole thing lasted for hardly five minutes. But in that five minutes, I made maybe the hundred best pictures of my life. So these kind of things happen to you once in a life. In such situations, you should know your camera and the settings perfect because this is a very tricky light. Sometimes you need to underexpose, sometimes you need to go for the proper exposure. So all these things you need to keep on changing to capture this big show of nature in such a magnitude in your camera. So this is one moment I will never forget in my life. And I want to share some of those pictures made in that five minutes with you. Thank you. Thank you.